For most people, the automatic transmission is shifted into drive and it's left there until they reach their destination. But for those who use their automatic transmission for performance, the forward gears see a lot more action than a daily driver. B&M shifters allow us the flexibility to shift our automatic transmission manually, and their ratcheting shifters allow us to do it with confidence. B&M has opened their doors for us so we can see how they go about designing an automatic transmission shifter for your car. B&M Shifters is a brand that's been around for more than 60 years. The company that brought us the Hydrostick in the 1950s has been helping automatic transmissions shift better ever since. Today, we're going to go inside B&M and learn how these industry-leading shifters are designed and engineered. My name is Victor Pham, and I'm a design engineer at B&M Racing and Performance. When we are designing uh, shifters, we look at a few things. We look at vehicle popularity, customer needs, and performance needs. We try to listen to the ideas and feedbacks we get from our customers. We developed the ratcheting shifter in the 70s, and we've improved on that design. The ratcheting shifter only allows you to shift one gear at a time, up or down. You can't jump two gears, and you can't accidentally hit reverse. What's special or unique about this ratcheting shifter is that you don't have to look down at your shifter to make sure that you're gonna go into the next gear. When we're designing a new shifter, we gotta consider the factory console. Is the factory console gonna work with our new shifter, or do we have to design a new console to fit around that new shifter? When we replace the factory shifter with our own, we have to look at a few things. We have to look at the electrical wiring, such as the neutral safety switch or the reverse light. Uh, we also have to look at the cable, if we can use a factory cable or possibly replace it with one of our own. We use factory measurements and we model the shifter up on SolidWorks. When we have our design modeled up, we send it off to vendors to have it machined, manufactured, and it comes back to us as our first prototype. Part of the R&D process is to get the machine parts back, assemble the shifters to make sure that they fit and function properly. And now if they don't fit and function properly, we have the drawings refined and then send them back for a second prototype. In the process of modeling, gotta make sure that each component works together. There's no interference between the parts. And once said and done, the part fits in the vehicle. To make sure that these shifters are durable, we rely on SolidWorks. Within SolidWorks, there's a function called finite analysis. Now this function allows us to test our shifters and make sure that they meet demands and durability. In addition to finite analysis, we do real world testing. When we get our prototypes back, we send them out to the field and have customers test them out for us. We did have a machine that tested our shifters, but our shifters are so durable that it broke this machine. Now we're in the process of designing a new machine that can match the durability of our shifters. We don't only design our shifters to meet the demands of a daily driver, we also have them designed to meet the abuse that it would see on the track. Once our product has been tested in the field, we get our assembly drawings and our instructions put together and we send it off to production. Making the best possible automatic shifters takes both manufacturing excellence and design engineering. The technology we put on our cars today is a far cry from what it was 50 years ago. B&M is excited to be a part of that history and even more excited to be a part of the future and of what's to come. <laughs>